This episode is sponsored by LadyFootLocker.com. You have a lot going on. Work, school, friends, kids, cocktail parties. Go prepared and look good while you're doing it. Head to EverydayDriggers.tv slash Lady to save 10% off orders $50 or more at LadyFootLocker.com. <laughs> Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer, and today we're going to create the candy corn cocktail. This recipe was submitted by, well, not submitted by anybody. It's invented by the folks over at Sky Infusions using Sky Infusion Pineapple. So you're going to, it's a layered cocktail. I haven't done it. Hoping it's going to work. Praying it's going to work, otherwise it's going to be lame. Two ounces of pineapple vodka. So we're using the Sky Infusions. One and a half ounces of orange sherbet, softened. It's pretty soft, it's getting there. Softened sherbet. One ounce of pineapple juice, over there. One ounce of milk, right here. And a half ounce of simple syrup. So we're going to, <laughs> I've got three shakers, I'm gonna do three parts. Now at home, you could probably do this in stages. Three different times. Yeah, you can make one base, put it in a cup or whatever, put one in, layer the next in, layer on top. I'm going to build them all at once. It's more efficient for the show, inefficient when I have to clean, but... But you have enough shakers. But I have enough shakers. I'm just showing off my collection. <laughs> this it's is a product right. placement. Yeah, this is part Absolute, G-Vine, and this is WMF Manhattan. Ah, there we go. So let's start by making the first part. That's going to be... Vodka and pineapple juice. So we're gonna do our two ounces. This is really the main focus is the the vodka, pineapple vodka. If you look around, that's that's the only alcohol that you're gonna get out of here. But you know what? If it's cool, oh, it yeah. doesn't matter. Good point. But it's two ounces. But it will look like a candy corn, theoretically. Theoretically. A little pineapple, a little pineapple action. So I'm gonna use an ounce of pineapple juice. So less pineapple juice than there is actual pineapple vodka. Oh, that smells really good. Hmm. All right, so we got that, ice that. Well, you know what? I'm going to make the base first. No, I guess we can ice it. Shake this up. All right, one down. So we've got our base. Stick it over here. Let's see what do we want to do next. Let's go with the orange since that would be the next in line. Plus, is the one I'm most concerned of creatively. So what we're gonna do is for the sherbet, we're gonna try and get an ounce and a half, which shouldn't be too bad considering it is fairly liquid at this point. Living up here at the lights and the camera. Oh, and I'm oh, sorry. Camera doesn't really make a difference. Mostly lights. Yeah. That's true. Camera's not melting this. <laughs> no. So you use really hot. this one next. So we got our sherbet. This we're just going to mix with ice. To make it cold. Yeah. <laughs> Turn it back into frozen. It helps to break it up a little bit. It's not going to shake too well. I'll leave that one there to help simmer it up, get the uh, stuff to fall off. Then we got our milk. So this one is an ounce of milk and an ounce of simple syrup. A sweet white top. Yeah. Which ounce of simple syrup? That's a lot. I mean that that's the the candy corn. That's my favorite part. It's the little white. The top. white piece. Yeah, because it's the, like the frosting. Yeah, the white piece is on the bottom, not the top. What? You hold hand candy corns upside down? No, the yellow's on the top. So this is how you hold your hand candy corn? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You eat them from the bottom up? That's not the bottom. It's it top. is. It goes like this. Otherwise, it'll fall no over. Way. You think a candy corn goes this way? Yes. Oh, I never, never even considered that. It's always this way. No. 
how do you guys eat your candy corns? <laughs> Maybe sideways. I do this, I bite the tip off. Mm, that's a good part. Hey, work on the orange, and then at the end you get the corn. What? I don't think it's corn, but good. See how this comes out. It just comes out with the I yellow on you. top. Huh? We'll see how this comes out. If this comes out with the yellow on top. No, I'm it's right. not gonna come out on the yellow on top. First off, I've seen the picture. Secondly, I'm not layering them in that order. Thirdly, doesn't matter what order. If it's heavier, it will sink. All right, look, I'm starting to sweat right now <laughs> in this thing. Oh, where's my Take off your hat, pirate? Keep it. Where's my you. uh Yellow. It's in the G-Vine, isn't it? Yes, it's this guy right here. Not how much I really need. Oh my. Eyes. It's not that yellow. And then there's my white, so now we're gonna go with I don't know how I'm going to actually strain this. I guess you really just dump it, huh? You put the white next, and then the orange goes underneath? The orange goes next. Let's see. The white goes on top. Yeah. I thought you said, where'd I put my white? Uh, yeah, this one's going to need to be dumped in. How do you layer by dumping? I don't know. But i got to do it, right? we got to get the orange in there. Oh, it's almost all already out. It's not looking very candy corny, if you ask me. Wah! Because you're doing it backwards? No, I'm not doing it backwards. And this is supposed to layer on top. Is it working? I can't see. You're not on my screen anymore, remember? Oh, yeah. I don't know. No. No, not, not really at all, huh? Is it supposed to have ice in it? Yeah. They make it look a lot better in the picture. Should have printed out the picture and put it in front of your cup. <laughs> Whatever. Let's see how it tastes. Didn't work. Mm. Tastes like pineapple. That's why we're common man. So we can't make. If you could layer this, corn. good on you. Take a picture. Show us. It's a pain Show us butt. how it's done. It doesn't taste like a candy corn. It's supposed to look like one. Yeah, it tastes like pineapple. It needs more sherbet. It's got a nice sweet taste to it though. And there is a little bit of alcohol in the finish, that vodka flavor kind of coming through the, the ethanol. Or, I don't know, it's not that bad. It's just, it's present. So you, even though there's a lot more going on here than just, just some vodka, definitely gets a lot of vodka in the finish, considering milk, syrup, pineapple juice. I think the presentation could look better. Maybe you just have to rehearse it and practice and practice and practice until you get it. Whatever. Doesn't matter. That's the Candy Corn Cocktail. I'm your host, Derek Shomer for EverydayDrinkers.tv. We're teaching you how to drink. <laughs>